hello and we're going to make these two cards i hope you enjoy the video it shouldn't take you too long i think it took me 30 minutes to make so what we need here is some watercolor card which is about 350 thickness and we're going to use some gelatos and use some like water water paints so if you've got water paints you can use them as well so i'm just going to make some like a marbling effect i would say i'm still getting to terms with i know what things are called but um i've never had to use technical terms so my um packaging technique smoosh that's not really a technical term but anyway i um change all the colors make it marble I do like gelatos, but I don't use them enough. And they're in my stash. Got them as a Christmas present a few years ago. Does anyone else, hands up, have an item they don't use that much? Get it out. Use it. It's there for a reason. You bought it to use it. So challenge yourself. This is a good um, video for that. Get something different out. You don't necessarily need to use water paints to make this effect use inks and all sorts just have a play this color i do really love it's like a hot pink color i think this was from a brights collection i've got a few but yeah i spritz it with a bit of water to wetten it down a little bit you don't necessarily need a bottle of water you just need a a little um cup of water nearby this paintbrush I have actually holds water inside it as well. You squeeze it out. But yeah, mixing up the colours. Nice blue. I thought that would look quite nice with it all. But yeah, I gave this to someone for their birthday recently. So hopefully if they're watching, they might recognise it. Do, do, do. It, it does turn out really well in the end so I hope you enjoy it and if you do let me know in the comments if you have a go making it um, my video is all about really using up what you have don't buy anything else but um, yeah go in with the hot pink again mix it up with some textured paste which I've had this in my stash for years and years. I bought two at a show um, and it's not dried out and it's lasting really well. So wish me luck, try and use it up. And I use stencils quite a bit. I do love a stencil, even though I haven't got many in my stash. I'm sure that will change. There was um, a shop at my local crop which is where I do my a lot of well used to before Covid they've in, they've just started back up actually and that's Wickham Scrappers and they had a, a, a in person meet which was nice nice to get back and they had a shop so I bought some stencils there for Christmas so I'm thinking Christmas cards coming up soon well not too soon but obviously you need to be organized <laughs> when it comes to making Christmas cards but yeah, what you'll need to do now is wash that stencil. You won't want to leave it, otherwise it will ruin the stencil. And now it's dry. I cut out the drying process with my heat gun. I think I actually left it to dry um, and went and did something else. But um, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? I quite like that effect. Made my own background. Now, some people might be cringing at the amount of glue I'm using, but um, it gives it a bit more time to wriggle it around. See, I think we're all perfectionists, aren't we, when it comes to making sure it's straight. Now, to that night I was making that card, I had, did not have a gin, so <laughs> it still wasn't straight. Got no excuses. So I'm using a punch here. 
um, with the same paper that I made the background with, which I think it's turned out pretty well. I do like the I I do like circles swirls. It's quite a nice spotty pattern. These are stamping up punches, but you can use anyone on any kind of stamp punches. I mean, uh, I think you can get them from Harry Craft as well. Um, I don't think they do this one anymore. They do do different style but use what you've got I'm sure lots of you have got punches in your stash don't need to buy anything else but um, now I'm just gonna get a sentiment I think I do I stamp two actually here so then the second one's dry for the next card because um, you need it to dry a little bit because otherwise you end up smudging it. But yeah, a light tap with your stamp. This one is also a stamping up stamp. It gets used a lot. And I can't be bothered to get out a bigger block so I um, put it on a diagonal. You have to let me know, um, Harriet, which card, birthday card I gave you. I made so many now. I think it was one of these. So, yeah, I'm just putting some um, dimensionals on, which are little foam pads, just to raise it up, give it a bit of um, height, make it a bit more interesting. And actually, you need to raise it a little bit just because the texture paste comes up a little bit as well. But I'm really pleased with this card. It's turned out pretty well. Yeah, put that to the one side. It will be dry, hopefully, by the time you need it for the next card for me. Okay. But yeah, this only took me half an hour tops. I had the kids in the background, I think, um, making this one. Um, yeah, I think they were just playing in the bedroom. Right, we're going to start the next one, the next card. And we're going to keep that bit of scrap. Because we're going to cut out some more butterflies. And I just about fit three. Isn't that great? No wastage there. I could probably get a couple hearts out of it as well. So... I do like to use as much paper as possible. So here, we're going to do the packaging technique. So if anyone saw my 12 by 12 scrapbook page or layout, um, I same technique. Try not to have your paper too close though because it does spread when you spray it with the spritzer. Spritzer? I think that's what it's called. But um, I wonder if you could use it with just a paintbrush and putting water on and then making a bit of a puddle on your um, packaging but I do love the effect of um, packaging technique smush it around I do try and um, put splatters with my paintbrush but it doesn't quite work so I go in with a bit more ink you'll see in a minute but um, I do love the oxides ink more so than the normal oxides by Tim Holt um, for all my mixed media type stuff. But yeah, that is that. I won't bore you with um, the tidying up, but yeah, if you want to dab off any of the extra ink that you think is drying do get a kitchen roll or something or cloth hand i think i'm using kitchen roll there back in with your dimensionals you could put two on top of each other if you want them a little bit higher i've just done 
three. Three is a good number. <laughs> I don't know why. Does anyone else do that? Three butterflies, three. Like, it's got to be an odd number. Can't be an even. I'm not sure why that is. You could have this going across the whole length of your card, but I've decided to just trim it on the this panel as such and then stick it to the base of the card, which is a... I'm not sure what they call this style card. I should know. But it's not... Uh, it's more portrait than landscape. But my wiggle glue again. Because I can never get things straight. <laughs> I'm not sure... I'm sure everyone else's is the same. But yeah, I'm just going in to stick the butterflies. It's great. You, you've you created a bit of your own mixed media and created these butterflies. And you've managed to get them onto two cards, or at least I have. Let me know if you give it a go. I want to see pictures. And then I use... Um, they're not gems, they're, I'm not sure, I can't think what they're called. Pearls, I guess. They look like pearls, don't they? But you can change them a different colour. I could change them pink. But here you go. Here's the two cards. I hope you enjoyed it. And do give me a thumbs up. And goodbye, everyone. See you soon. Take care.